recording. So hello and welcome to the Team Yoga Zen Challenge. We are on day 44 and I'm Claire from Yoga Bright. This is Olivia and we are here today to uh, give you experience of some partner work and play. So if you don't have somebody with you already, then find a sibling or a parent who can come and join you for a little bit of yoga fun. So we're going to start off to tune in with your breath, sit back to back with your partner. They come right up close. So the lower backs together and lean in to your partner very gently, just enough so you can give them support. If they feel like, oh, they're heading forwards, then just tell them, a little connection, just move back a little bit. Not so, not so much. Not so much leaning in. There we go. So that's about perfect for us. but without shifting away. So we want to be close, but not putting too much pressure on. Good work. And take your hands to your knees. Just lean gently in to your partner for support. Close your eyes and become aware of your breath to start with. Notice what your breath is doing. In the yoga, we breathe in and out through the nose because it helps to Slow the breath down and calm the system. It's a nice way to start off. We breathe all the way down to your pelvic floor, into your belly, your chest. And after a couple of rounds, tune your awareness into what's happening with your breath at the back of your body. Move your 60% of our lungs along the back. So can you breathe a little bit more into your back? And get wide across the back of your shoulders even with your breath. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders relax down. Now, become more aware of what's happening with your partner's breath. Is it like that? Move more into yours as they breathe in. Move slightly away. As they breathe out. Does it feel as if perhaps your breath is starting to synchronize after a few rounds? And we'll start with the right round of arms. Um, so bring your hands together in front of your heart, palm to palm. And see if you feel a vibration in your body and in your partner's body as you come to chant one sweet arm. So take a big breath in, way into your back, feel it press into your partner. Oh. oh, lovely, and reach your hands down, take them out, and bring your hands, if you can, almost palm to palm with your partner. It's a really light, gentle touch, it's not a whoa, pushing in, so and together, breathe in and reach your arms up and overhead. And breathe out and bring your arms back down again. So you'll notice maybe if you're with a parent, their arms might not go up as high as yours. So be careful to tune in and connect with your partner and make sure that you don't go too far for them. Okay, next time you reach your arms up, if you're facing towards the camera, release your friend's hands and keep your hands up. And if you're facing away, just circle your partner's wrists, reach down through your belly, 
both of you into the floor and then reach a little higher. Or how's that? Higher. Or as high as I could go. And oh. then switch. So you need to resist it a little bit and anchor down, not try and come with me. Mm. Oh, that feels nice. So it gives me a nice stretch on the side and this side as well. Oh, and then release it down, bring the hands back together again. Take another big breath in. If you're facing away from the camera, move away from it. Reach the other arm up and overhead. And breathe in, back to the middle. And out to the other side. And again, move with your breath. So see if you can synchronize your breath. And be sensitive to your partner, making sure that you're not trying to pull them along with you, but really working together. One more time to each side. And back into the center, and then this time, let go of the hands, breathe out, and turn to your right side. Take your left hand to your right knee, take your right hand, take that to the left knee, and then look over your left shoulder. Oh, look over your right shoulder. And breathe into the middle, and out to the other side. So it's not about who can go the furthest or the most, but just gently moving with your breath with your partner into the middle and out from side to side, giving it a little bit of support. Oh, oh, love along the way. As I said, it's not about how far you go. I fell on my arm. Just about moving with your partner. You're going too far. Sorry. And back in all the way to the middle and come up and over and make your way to your mat. And come in. Oh no, hold on. We're going to stand up together. So interlace your hands together. Wait, Olivia, my feet are still crossed. Don't push them to me. Put your feet to the floor. And attempt to stand. And this is a little bit of fun. So we're going to attempt to push into each other. And come and help each other to standing. We, we, we might not be able to do it. Yeah, we tried yesterday and we didn't get so far, but we might. Oh, so come on then. Oh. Up, push up. Oh, I'm trying to let you push up yourself. Okay, well, push it back into mine and lift up. Push up. Yes, yeah, my knees up. can't take the weight. You just push. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Go. Oh. Let go. I thought we did it. Oh. oh, nearly. And have a good shake out. So, if you manage to do that, I can do it with them. Well done. Yeah. It's difficult sometimes to do. If you're a different size to somebody, way more difficult to do. So, come and stand oh, it's easy with us. at the top. Of your mat, root down through your feet. We're going to do a couple of rounds of sun salutations to get the blood moving a little bit more, reset the system, and warm up a bit. So, root down through your feet, inhale, sweep your arms wide to the sky, breathe out, bend your knees, hinge your hips back, bring your fingertips to the floor, breathe in and look up, face the hands down, step back to plank. Bring your knees down, your chest and chin down to your hands, and then slide forward, curl up as you breathe in. Nice little bit. As you breathe out, tuck your toes and take your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. We're going to hold it here for five. Good deep breaths. So, so I like this tiger version of dog. So come high up on your toes, bend your knees. And push down through your hands so that your hips rise up and your spine is nice and long. Keep hugging the forearms in towards each other. 
And that space behind the heart is soften. Move on to your next out breath. Bend your knees up between your hands. Step your feet forwards. And breathe in, slick up. Breathe out. Oh, bow in. Root for your feet. Breathe in, reach your arms up. Hands to your heart. So in yoga, you can always come back to the sweetest variation that we offer. You can always wait in down dog. You can always take a child's pose. You get to choose. We're going to do another faster round of sun salutes. So you can do the last one we did, or you can follow along with us. Inhale, arms to the sky as you exhale, fold in. Breathe in, look up, breathe out, step or jump back to plank. And as you breathe out, bend your elbows, come all the way down to the floor. Reach your feet back, curl up. Little baby cobra, keep your elbows bent still. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Gonna hang out here again for a few breaths. Spread your fingers wide. See if we can take a couple of breaths being still and then see what happens if you move your body in this shape. I'm running. The running dog, and then bend your knees, look between your hands, you can step or jump your feet forwards. Breathe in, look up, breathe out, bow in, press your feet down, reach your arms wide to the sky, exhale, hands to the heart, hands were a bit wild, so I'll tie it back quickly. Again, last round, so take any variation that works for you, and reach down through the feet. Spread them wide, inhale, reach your arms to the sky, exhale, and fold in. Breathe in and look up as you breathe out. Step or jump back to plank or all the way to chaturanga. Exhale, bend your elbows halfway, roll the toes, upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward dog. Well, and hopefully you're getting a bit warm by now. Pause here. Tune back in with your breath. Bend your knees, look between your hands. Float your feet forward. Breathe in and look up. Breathe out, bow in. Reach for your feet. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Come stand back to back and reconnect your breath as your friend gives you a little bit of extra support. Bring your hands back to your palm. So just a little bit of back support. Or you can give them, a, I like to call this hug asana. A little bit of a backwards cuddle if you like. Oh, and release. And then give everything a really good shake out. And a dance. Right. And shake and come and stand up to each other. Come and take a pose. It's a bit a bit, a little bit like a suspension bridge. So take your feet that hip distance apart. Yeah. And it's really important to hold on to each other's wrists in a lot of these poses. Because if you hold on to the hands, I don't know about you, but I was getting quite warm in those sun salutations. If we hold on to each other's hands, they tend to get sweaty first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then we slip. So always hold your partner's inner wrist. So we're gonna hold on to each other's wrists. Keep the feet about hip distance apart and lean away from each other. There's a little bit of play here because we're trusting, it's a big trust element. I know that if I let go of Olivia or she lets go of me, I'm going to go flying. If I let go of you, I can stay up. <laughs> Indeed. Now reach your hips back a little bit more, Liv. Oh, lovely. Okay, bend your knees. Bend and keep them bent. That's enough now because I'm going to go shuffling forward. So we have a little play. Oh, now I'm going back. So there's a little play. Take your feet together. That's it. So there's a little bit of play 
on how we hold each other up. And then keep hold of yourself, take hold of opposite wrist. Let's start with the right side and opposite hand. Bend the knees, lean away from each other, open up the arms. <laughs> and then breathe into the middle, take the wrist again. Other side, oh, that feels so nice on my shoulders. And then into the middle and keep going. If you trust your partner, you can try doing this with your eyes closed. <laughs> Don't need that quite so much. Yet. There we go. One more to each side. <laughs> we lost each other there for a moment. All part of the play. Oh, and don't go too wild with it as well. I because you might fast. shock someone. Come on, back to the middle. Back to the middle. All the way up. High five. Oh, yeah. Gentle high five. Yes. And we're going to do a little double plank. So I'm going to come into plank. So watch first before you do it with your friend. And Olivia's gonna climb on top and hold onto my ankles with her hands and have her feet at my shoulders. She likes this. I do. Very, very weird. Okay, so we're gonna start off. Some of you chooses to go in plank pose. So keep the tummy really strong, push down through the hands. And she takes hold of my ankles. Uh, that's no good for me. Sitting on the back is going to hurt. But doing this right is not. There we go. There we are. Good job, Liv. She wants to try it with more than two people. I have tried with more than two people before we fell over. So, yeah, stick with two people for now, is my advice. So, your turn to come into plank and face the other way. For me, so that everyone can see. We'll take it in turn. So if you've had a go, on top it's your turn to go as the planking person on the bottom. And I'll be honest, I prefer being on the bottom for this one. So I really take prefer being on the top. Your hands. <laughs> so your feet a bit wider apart for me, Olivia, a bit close together for me. There you go. You're a bit sturdier base then. And then you take one foot up. The shoulder, is that your shoulder? Oh, no, we... oh. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, ow, ow. And take a child's pose. Yeah. Especially if you've been underneath. And then fresh from our excitement of the double plank, we're going to come and take a double dog. So, try getting going on the bottom first. As long as I get to go with the other one. <laughs> okay, so spread your fingers wide. Make them really strong. We have one of us goes into dog. And then the other comes to stand in front. One foot in front. Hands a little way in front, and then really important to have the toes here on the pelvis. Put my hands out a little bit more, and not on the spine. So make sure your feet are Tickle. inside oh, of your partner's spine. And then there you go, up you go. <laughs> and the first one that wasn't going to even give a little wave. And then gently and sweetly make your way down. Oh, good job. So my turn on the bottom, right? They switch. Unless you're with someone who's very tiny. Yeah. Really early. <laughs> Mummies and toddlers, they can definitely, definitely have to be very careful. <laughs> okay. And she comes right in front. Make sure that her foot's not in the centre. Good job. Hey, Liv. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? No. 
And everybody take a child's place. To introduce them to rock. This is a little rock, so you go bum to bum, then lean back over the other person who's in child's pose. You can hold their hand and they can pull you to mm. your server. It's really relaxing when you're on top, and some people like yeah, find it relaxing when you're on the bottom too. It's really relaxing when you're lying at the top, and it's often relaxing for those on the as well. And then to come up. And then to come up. Just roll them up. You should be able to come up standing. I think I should go as the lizard and you can be the rock. How about that? Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks. So come around. Line up. Bum to bum. Lay back. Get my soles and my feet on the ground. Um, yeah, I mean, I like this. Either way, actually, on the front or on the back. Reach my arms up and overhead. Mm. And if, oh, yes, yeah, so it's going to come up. Yeah. All right, so Olivia kind of rolls up to me, and I can walk my feet back oh, and come all the way to the Oh, come on, let's come and do a few standing poses to get a little even more awake. So take, I need to put my right foot in, they're just going to put their left foot in opposite me. Take the left leg back, really wide stance. Actually, if you can go a little bit longer. And turn your back foot so that it's parallel, turning in very slightly. And the heel of your front foot lines up with the arch of your back foot. And your front knee. Reach your arms wide. Warrior two. Very familiar for any yogis in the room. And again, we're holding on to each other. Oh, wrist to wrist. And we do a little lean away. Lean away. <laughs> oh, and then. We bring our hands, bend your front knee a bit more, Liv. Bring your hands down in the middle, like that, like a little point, and reach your other arm up and overhead. We can make a little up heart together. Oh. Up, and then hold hands, and lean away. Oh, and switch the dog. So now I've got my left foot forwards, and Olivia, I think, is on her right foot. And hold wrists. I think so. Wow. Right. Bend that front knee. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it with the toes into my. Yeah, but you're my. standing on there. Bend your front knee. Bend it more. Make your back leg straight. Lean away. And then come back to the middle. Woo! I'm feeling a bit wobbly. Bend the front knee. Hands down and make a great big heart shape. We don't need each other and all of you. Spreading the love in lockdown. Spreading the love in lockdown. Good job. And we'll come back to sit face to face each other. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So we're doing a little boat. So as you come and sit opposite each other, bring your toes and feet towards each other with your knees bent. And again, I find it's easier with somebody who's a similar height to me. So I'm pretty glad that it's going through like a team, team wrist but And again, take hold of wrists here. 
so that you've got a good grip of each other. And then stretch your heart forwards. Nice. Press the feet together. Lift up one foot into the middle. And then the other. Gorgeous. Okay. And then one leg out to the side. We do the other leg. Way. We're losing our hand grip. But maybe we can still bring one leg and the other leg. Oh, maybe you can hold it on your own for a few breaths. Take the feet wide, sit all the way back down again. <laughs> Lose your partner. There we go. And set your feet towards each other so you can put a little bit of pressure against each other. And so sometimes we use forward bends. Some of us are more bendy and flexible than others. So make sure that you don't go wild and pull somebody a bit too far. We're going to come a little forwards and backwards like a seesaw in this one. So again, either make a little hooky hand or <laughs> take your wrist, then Olivia's going to lean back. I'm going to breathe out and move forwards. That's enough for me. And then we'll breathe in. Oh, and then I get to go back. So if they pull you too far, they know that you've got to do it next. Huh? No further, Libby says. Into the middle, out the back. Yeah. And then breathe into the middle and out to lean away. And do another two of these each. And when you've done those two, come back to the middle. Take opposite. Wrist to opposite hand, we did a little twist standing earlier. And then we're we'll opening it up and breathe into the middle. And then out to the other side. And back into the middle. A couple more to each side and open it up. Last one to each side of this one, and then <laughs> inhale back to the middle and open it up one more time to the left. This time, this time, you can take your, oh, I don't remember how we did this. Can you remember? Ah, oh, you take the Left arm overhead and reach your ribs to the right foot. Thanks, Elizabeth. And she's got my toes, and I can tickle her feet as well. And back into the middle, we change the wrist in case you didn't get that. We lean away. Right arm comes up and all the way over to my left foot. And you might be here, and that's a great place to be as well. Back to the middle. Let's try it another time on each side. So some of us might be just here. Even if your partner's going the whole way, holding your toes, you can still work there. Great place to be. Oh, that was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. And release. You had to shake. A little double high five. And come and sit back to back. So Olivia can just shuffle forwards. Shuffle this way and I'll go and sit that way. There you go. Oh, okay. Shut the back of the mat. So I can. So I find definitely my ankles get a bit sore if I have them on the hard floor too much. So make sure you've got something to cushion your ankles and come back to where we were at the beginning of class. Sit back to back. Rest into each other. So for different. And this time, 
Again, reach the arms wide, and the hands back. Do these little movements again that we did earlier. Big breath in. And to breathe out, reach away from the camera, up and over, and breathe into the middle, and out to the other side. Again, being really considerate, connecting with your partner, and being really sensitive to how far they can go. Is that okay for you, Libby? Nothing wrong with me. Yeah, I know. And come back to the middle, breathe in, her hands together again. There we go, reach your arms up. This time she breathe out. Olivia's going to lean back over me. I'm going to go forwards. And then we're going to breathe in. I'm going to reach back. And then I'm going to reach up. Oh. And over. I let go of the hands, it's a little bit easier. Breathe in, back to the middle. You're going to push me back up. The back and then breathe out and push me back and these yeah that's really nice mm -hmm. and in the middle and out okay <laughs> in the middle so she's telling me to back off a little bit but I practice what I preach so be sensitive being sensitive to your partner. My face was on the mat. This feels really nice. Okay. Who is your face on the mat again? Into the middle. Oh, oh and then again, we're uh, finished with a couple of those twists. Breathe out. Turn to your right side. And breathe in back to the middle and out to your left. And into the middle, out to the right. And into the middle, last time, over to the left side. Pause for a moment here. And then you get to go and have a lie down. So come and lay down at uh, Fushibasana. Before you come and lay on your belly, then lay on your back and give your knees a hug into your chest. Lay on your mat for me. Not part of the ticket. Yeah, well, you know, you can, if you want to snuggle with your sibling or with a parent, then that's absolutely fine. But start off with just hug your knees to your chest. Oh, and then you can either lay on your belly or on your back, whichever is more comfortable for you. Now you can feel really relaxed. Take a big breath in, tighten everything in your muscles, tight, 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 and as you breathe out, relax it all. Let it go. Allow yourself to feel completely calm, peaceful, and relaxed. I'm going to be quiet now for a couple of minutes, but don't worry. I shall tell you when you can start moving again. Be as still, as quiet as you can be.
As you bring your awareness back to your breath, you deep and lengthen. You like your fingers, you bring your toes, and a big stretch. You can always turn off the video and carry on relaxing for a little while if you'd like to. Otherwise, you have a lay on your side. Slowly push yourself up and again come and sit back to back with your partner. Your hands to your knees, gently rest back into them. Bring your hands to your heart. Finish with a little hold. Take it back in. Bow your head into your beautiful, faithful heart. And turn around. All the way around, face your partner. And bow to them as well and say thank you for all the play and all the fun we've had today. And so enjoy. Um, we all need, also need to give you a small Zen challenge as part of this program. So, my challenge for you is to teach your parent a partner pose and also see if together with a parent or a sibling you can create your own partner pose or even your own sequence of poses good luck and the main thing is keep connecting with your partner be sensitive for that towards them be playful and have fun. Thank you very much. Namaste.